Conrad, you have no idea what it takes to get the job done. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And we're back with more of the original Mass Effect. We're here with Cinderius Shepard on board the Citadel. And as we are making our way to visit with... Is it Captain Anderson? I think I called him Commander in the last video. But we're going to visit with Captain Anderson in Flux. Um, on our way there, we run into some sort of protest. Let's go see what this is all about. No Excuse me. You're the Spectre, right? That would be me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Cram, Your Honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? All right, it sounds like we need to do a little investigation. Tell us about Terra Firma. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a good theory, but these people are making it sound like a racial issue. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. I don't think it's extreme to stand up for our inalienable human rights. No pun intended. Of course, Commander. Hmm. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Hmm, what's he getting at? All right, I remember Ashley talked about this Armistice Day. Let's hear more. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Okay. He's gonna be a little inflammatory toward this person here. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier, but I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. So you can say I support our troops and get into office because of our sacrifices, huh? I... Uh, I assure you, I'm only interested in the betterment of humanity. The same as you, Commander. I'll think about it. Excuse me. Your support would mean a lot, Commander. Yeah. Anyhow. Let's keep moving. So, Liara, you've spent 50 years studying Prothean ruins and artifacts. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Well, I think you've spoken for scientists everywhere, Liara. A very long elevator ride.
All right. I was actually trying to find this last keeper, but not having much luck. This is the one I thought I had missed, and I haven't. We got him. back down in the elevator. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Okay, I think we're gonna go... I can find another one of these transport terminals. Yeah, we've gotten this one too. It's like, you know, I. Well, anyway. We're gonna go and talk with Conrad Werner. Yeah, I need to finish up everything on the Citadel because I think this is probably going to be the last time we're going to see the Citadel in one piece, we'll say. All right, here, it, here he is. I've been waiting for you to get back. Really? I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? I, I don't know what this man's problem is, but wow. Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. Joke if you want, but there were people who didn't believe in you, and you worked out, right? I read about what you did on Torfin. I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Uh-oh, people. <laughs> All right, we're going renegade. We are going full renegade. Conrad, you have no idea what it takes to get the job done. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Well, all right then. And we got nine renegade for that. Okay, so that is the end of the Conrad Werner story in Mass Effect 1. But fear not, people. Conrad Werner fans. He will be in Mass Effect 2. Okay. Um, what else do I need to do? Let's go back to CSEC. And here we have this reporter. This is probably going to be our last opportunity to speak with her. So let's go ahead and get it done. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand.
Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Oh, we're going renegade already. I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? More renegade options? Okay. The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? More renegade. Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? I made that call to save myself, my crew, and the inhabitants of Novaria. And I'd do it again. It's gratifying to see someone who'll make tough choices to protect the lives of humans. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. If we build a few dozen more dreadnoughts, I guarantee we'll be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? All right, people. It's time to put an end to this. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. Mm. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. Okay, we got two Renegade for that. And some experience. All right, are we going to go... There's a few more things we can check out. Let me actually use... Go, okay, Caden. Let me use this um, Rapid Transit. We are at the financial district here on the Presidium. And let me just make sure we've gotten all the licenses and stuff that we can from the various vendors. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, let's see the upgrades. What have we got here? Nothing I was expecting, okay. Um... I think we're just gonna move on. Alright, this is the area where... Most people cannot find the um, keeper, but I know that it was here, and it's one of the ones I came to early on, so this isn't the one that I'm missing either. Alright, let me do a save, because I think there might be a mission here. Oh, there isn't. Okay, so something I didn't do while we were out in space because there should have been some sort of a 
VI, AI, whatever that was in, in this computer bank. Alright, so we've missed something in our exploration. And it's kind of hard to try to track everything down now that we're, we're down to the wire here. Okay, um, let's find another... Guess terminal. Is there anyone over here? I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Yes, we have another you situation. I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. Okay, well, I guess it's time for us to cut in. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is this man harassing you, ma'am? <sighs> Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Are these two serious? Just yelling out like that, really? All right, we're doing some investigation. What is the danger of this therapy that you two are yelling about? What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. You know, shouldn't they be having this conversation, like, you know, indoors in their home or something? Anyhow, more investigation. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Forget it. I don't have time for this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Blast you anyway. Wow. Get it, Michael. I'm leaving. Damn it, Rebecca. Okay. Well. All right. So we're here at Flux. And we did manage to find the 21st Keeper. So they've all been scanned. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Just dust yourself off, dude. What was that all about? Yeah, what is it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe but this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Yeah, good luck with that. You know, we're not, um... I'm skipping this thing, because this was really pretty boring. Alright, let's go and talk to Elias Keeler. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? 
Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip-deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some investigation here. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse, he's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Okay, we're done with this. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? You won't help me keep humanity strong. I'll find somebody else who will. All right, well, good luck with that. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here with all of the shenanigans that are going on on the Citadel. And in our next issue, issue, in our next episode, we're going to go ahead and meet up with Commander Anderson and get off of this station and proceed with the final chapters of Mass Effect. All right, this is Hill, and I'm out.